back to my channel or hi if you're new here my name is Emma I make videos I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock so if you're not subscribed to my channel you can go down below and do that right now also my Instagram name is in the description box below so today I'm gonna to be talking about some tips and tricks for thrift store shopping because summer is coming up and everyone wants cute clothes for summer but we don't all have the money to pay for really expensive cute things so one of the best ways to do that is to go thrift store shopping but I'm not gonna be focusing so much on summer thrift store shopping because there are a lot of really good tips that you can get that don't directly relate to that so let's just hop right into the video. Also, I don't really know what to do with like the collar of this bit because it folds in too much. I'm trying to decide if I should like, that's better. So one of the first things that I like to do when I go into a thrift store is see if they have the racks color coded. And a lot of places they don't, but if you go to a thrift store that does have them color coded, then for me, I would just pick my aesthetic. So if that's darker colors, beiges, browns, blacks, and grays, which is basically all I wear, then that's the kind of section that I would go to and flip through that for time efficiency. And that goes great into the next section because time efficiency is important. Because wandering can be your enemy, especially for people like me who get lost in seas of clothing. When I walk into a thrift store, I can get overwhelmed by all the stuff that there is to go through, I guess, to look for the cute thing. But if you use some of these tips and tricks for cutting down time and efficiency, then you won't have to be in the store for so long and you won't get as overwhelmed and you'll end up finding a lot more things by using uh, more efficient ways of searching for things. So one of the things that I wanted to look for when I went through store shopping was mom jeans. Now I got these last year, but the way that I found them and the way I find it's most easily to find mom jeans in stores like that is to go through all of the jeans section and take note of what the, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, what the crotch to button ratio is because the that's obviously gonna be bigger on mom jeans. So if you're flipping through, you can just flip through the clothing really fast and until you see a section of that that's quite longer, quite a bit longer, and then you can pick those up, see if they're what you're looking for, and that definitely will cut down time rather than going through, picking that up, seeing if it's mom jeans, putting it back, it can get draining doing that. So being able to flip through the pants really quickly to distinguish if they're mom jeans or if they're just regular jeans or any other type of jeans I'm not mentioning, then that's a really good way to do that. So something that I think is really cool to do when you go through store shopping is to look in the jacket and coat section. 90s jackets are in right now, whether that's bomber jackets or denim jackets, it's all making a comeback right now. So if you want things like that and you don't want to pay the really crazy urban outfitter prices for things like that, then definitely check out thrift stores because you're going to find authentic stuff, cute stuff, and cheap stuff. And all around, that sounds better to me. So that's how I found my denim jacket. And then I haven't found a bomber jacket yet, but I'm still looking. And that's a really good thing is to look in every season. Anytime you're there, anytime you go to a thrift store, any time of the year, check in the jacket section. People won't always be rummaging through it, especially if it's in the summer. So you can find it in the summer and then wait and wear it in the winter. So the new trend of thrifting has come along in the past little bit as like popular and trendy or whatever. But thrift, thrifting? Thrifting doesn't have to be at a thrift store. You can do thrifting at yard sales or talking to your parents, seeing if your parents or grandparents have any extra clothes from when they were a kid. And that's actually one of the best ways to do it because I got some of my favorite thrifting things I've ever received, which were my overalls. Now these were my mom's when she was in, I guess college or right, right after college and I got to keep them. So that's a really good tip is to ask family members and relatives if they have anything that they think you would like that they're not gonna wear anymore because then hey, you get something for free. And you're helping them clean out their closet. And this next one doesn't directly relate to clothing, thrift store shopping, but you can actually find some really cute old stuff for your bedroom if you're redecorating or your house or whatever. Like this, I found this really cute candle. It's gold with like flakes on it, I guess. And it reminds me so much of something that they're carrying right now at Altered State, which is their new um, candle section, candle line, I guess. And um, it just looks really similar to that, except I bought this for 50 cents. So I just spilled something. But look, that's cute. So that will be it for this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. My Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out if you're not already following that. And that's everything for this video, so I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Bye.